Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 20, Lesson 4. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can compare and classify two-dimensional figures using Venn diagrams. The learning objective is to compare and classify two-dimensional figures using Venn diagrams. In the prior learning is that students classify two-dimensional figures based on the presence or absence of perpendicular lines and angles of a specified size. All right, so moving into lesson on page 509, we have a spark you're learning that says a mosaic is a piece of artwork made with glass, stone, or ceramic tiles. Mosaic tiles come in many shapes, and they give us multiple shapes, and this is draw a Venn diagram to represent the relationship among these polygons. Explain your diagram. Okay, so first I'm just going to write on top of the shapes of what I'm seeing, and I'm just going to focus on their sides right now. So for the first shape, it has a one line and one line. That means that those two sides are um, congruent. That means that they're equal. So this has um, one pair of sides that match. Then if you look at the other one, um, one side has one, one side has one. Then the four corners have two, which means all those corners match. And then the two long ones have three marks. That means that those match. So the marks show you what number matches with which number. So this one has three pairs of matching lengths. This one doesn't have any of those blue lines, which means there aren't any matching lengths. This one has the two on the bottom and the two on the side. So this one has two matching lengths. This one, the square, there's one, 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 and one, which means all of the sides are matching. And then this one has none. So with our Venn diagram, we want to have layers. So we want to show something that has all of the sides that are matching, then you're going to expand and say only two or more um, of the sides are matching, and then only one is matching, and then outside is going to be none of them are matching, right? Because if you have one side that's matching, that means that's the total, right? You have one, and inside that you can have two or more, and inside that you can have all of it, right? So it's going to be like almost like this onion, this expanding Venn diagram. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the innermost circle. That's going to be all of the sides. Then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And these are going to be two or more. And then this really big one is going to be just one pair. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and label it and say all. And then I'm going to say two. And then I'm going to say one. All right, and then outside is just going to be none. So the one that was all of them was our square that had all four that were matching. So we did this one. Then we want to do um, two or more. So we're going to do the one that's marked two and the one that's marked three. So I'm going to draw that shape as best I can. And then it says these two, these two, and then this one and this one. So I got that one. Then beneath it, but still in the circle, I'm going to try to draw the one that marked the three up above. And then it says one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, and one, two. All right, so now that one is marked. Now in the outer circle, this is the one with just one of those shapes. So that's the first one marked with a one. And then it just has these two that are marked. All right, and then we have to do the ones with the X's. So this is going to be that triangle, and then we're going to do this shape here, which try my best to draw this here. That's as best as I got. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Even I can't draw perfect shapes. All right. So 
Um, that's just how to categorize a Venn diagram. And I know that most of you have only seen a Venn diagram where it's two circles and it overlaps. So this is a different way. It's really just, um, using circles to categorize in any way that you need to. And that's called a Venn diagram. All right. So let's go ahead and flip the page. So now we're on page of 510. It says, Lila is designing a video game in which the players arrange quadrilaterals. She defines a trapezoid as having exactly one pair of parallel sides. So remember, a trapezoid, only one pair. So one side and one side, they match. So A, we want to complete the Venn diagram to show how squares, rectangles, and rhombuses are related to parallelograms and trapezoids. So label your figures. I think this is too complicated and um, too new of a thing to ask you to do on your own, so I am going to do this with you. So the whole thing is marked quadrilaterals. We already know from our previous lesson that parallelograms are like the rectangle that is just slanted, right? So all that's saying is it has two pairs of parallel sides. So that's going to be the outer circle of the one on the right. So we would write parallelograms up here. And then within the parallelogram, we also have a rhombus, right? So a rhombus is a parallelogram because the only definition on a parallelogram is it has two parallel sides. And a rhombus does have two parallel sides, but it also has four equal lengths. So under here, we would say this has a rhombus and then with that, a rectangle is also a parallelogram. It's just a rectangle has straight sides and they're not being diagonal. So it has straight sides, but not all four are equal sides. But each straight side is parallel. So it does have two parallel um, sides. So this would be a rectangle. Now, something that goes in between both a rhombus and a rectangle is a square. So a square is a rectangle because it does have four equal sides and it does have four right triangles. And it also is a rhombus because it has four equal sides, but it does share because it has four right triangles. I'm sorry, four right angles and four equal sides. So our square is going to be inside. Then what's left, what we were focusing on was our trapezoid. So that's going to go in the circle separate. So this trapezoid is going to be over here. Now the tricky thing is the trapezoid said it has one pair of parallel sides. That's the only thing that makes it a trapezoid. So then let's go through a parallelogram. Does it have at least one pair of parallel sides? Yes, it does. But your trapezoid says it has exactly one pair. So that's why it would be separate. Is if it's only exactly one, that's why it has to be separate from the parallelogram. Because the parallelogram has two pairs. All right, so for B, it says explain how the diagram would change when a, trapez when a trapezoid is defined as a quadrilateral having at least one pair of parallel sides. So how it's actually defined is it says it has exactly one side. It can't have more, but it's saying if it were to change and it said had at least one, how would that change the Venn diagram? If it was at least one pair of parallel sides, then everything inside the parallelogram would fit inside the big trapezoid. So the trapezoid would be the even bigger circle because everything has at least one pair of parallel sides that's over in our parallelogram side. All right. So we would say that um, the trapezoid would be our biggest category. Be our new biggest category. 
Okay, friends, that is it for this lesson. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me and working with me. Um, that is the it for fifth grade into math. Congratulations, you've come so far. Um, I am so proud of you. And after you're done with this lesson, go ahead and give yourself a little celebration. Congratulations and good work, you guys. I'll see you around.